The YTK case involves a now $17 million arbitration award the company won from the port over the lease of Hotel Wharf. The case is currently on appeal to the Supreme Court and a decision is pending. But tensions rose when board member Oscar Calvo lashed out at port GM Rory Respicio for meeting with YTK without consulting the board. And for the record, I was the one who approached the principal owner of YTK on my own volition. Uh, not, no formal discussions. I did not commit the Port Authority Board. I did not uh, purport to speak on behalf of what the board will do. Um, but in order for me to come back to the board and ask for direction, I need to first see if there's any opportunity to look at those mitigating um, uh, issues. And well, I don't know how the other board members feel, but I certainly don't feel comfortable because I don't think so it's a fair play. I think, I think, Mr. Board of Director, you're going to feel more uncomfortable if these judgments are handed down. And well, we don't be, know that. We well, don't know that. None of us know that. No, we don't know. But so under executive what, what, session... What, what, what you're saying there, Rory, okay? You're predicting that on whatever the judgments are, okay? Let it go to, to the court system, okay? Irregardless of what, okay? It's in the court's hand. The tensions also spilled over into the discussion about new legal representation. Respicio got approval to hire in-house counsel to save money and will also contract a separate firm to handle specialized litigation. Incumbent counsel Mike Phillips is expected to be retained only until June to continue with the YTK case. But board members still weren't pleased and Chairman Frank Santos found himself playing referee. So this port attorney, uh, port attorney is just for the port to take care of it. You know, it's always good check and balance. But why would you need two attorneys at this point in time when we got one? Then you'd be paying two off. Two different attorneys at the same time, Mr. Chairman. No, you won't, Mr. Director. What would you? What would happen is if you have an in-house attorney, uh, that in-house attorney will be responsible for day-to-day -day type operations uh, that the board needs to handle. Then the board gave me authorization to begin the RFP process, which is also in the agenda item, and that that will be for specialized legal <coughs> maritime services. So what you would avoid is having a firm doing things that an in-house attorney could otherwise do to a much reduced um, rate. The board decided to table the decisions on in-house counsel and a legal specialist for a later special meeting. It also didn't dissolve into a scheduled closed executive session where they were supposed to discuss the YTK litigation. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.